Hello viewers, in today's video I will show you how you can roll back to stock firmware after installing GSI ROM or how you can unbrick your Huawei Mate 20 Pro. Viewers, in previous video I have installed Lineage on my phone and now in today's video I will show you how you can install stock firmware. Uh, first thing you need to do is connect your phone in fast boot mode to check the build number the version which was installed before installing the GSI ROM okay this is very important because only EMUI 9.1 is supported by this method you cannot uh, use this method for any other so bootloader should be unlocked and uh, on our computer we will run the command fast boot space OEM space get dash build dash number okay and uh, it will show you the current installed version okay you can simply download the deload firmware and install it by OTG drive or you can use the method I am going to explain in this video you need to open firmware finder and there you need to search your model in my case it is BLA L21 I will give you description uh, link in description uh, of this website okay and region is C432 you can see that region in build number when we checked on PC and version is 9.1 so we will uh, choose the latest EMUI 9.1 and click on files list it will show you uh, the file name the package name you need to copy this package name and paste it at the end just simply remove file list.xml from the URL and paste the, this name package name and press enter you will get the download link okay you can download uh, this file now update full base is downloaded and then you need to download cust file and preload file both files you should download by same method okay once you got these three files you need to open the unbrick script folder and there you will see the folder with name zips here okay that for that folder is used to copy these uh, three files okay I have copied these three files already there so I will uh, you need to simply rename uh, the cust file with update underscore cust dot zip and preload file should be re renamed as update underscore preload dot zip okay you cannot use the original names because script will not accept these names okay the main full base will remain as it is you don't need to rename the full base uh, zip file once you have done it you need to run the script by clicking on flash dot bat and uh, this script will guide you through the uh, steps viewers you can see the uh, developers of these uh, of this script so all credit goes to them you can see the names okay uh, it is uh, asking you to do the same steps we have already done rename the files blah 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 and it is asking for USB debugging so we need to uh, reboot our phone in for, uh, in normal mode again and enable USB debugging viewers uh, if your phone is bricked you must flash DWRP recovery because DWRP recovery have access to ADB okay if your phone cannot reboot to normal mode flash TWRP recovery and connect in PC and it will be accepted as ADB device okay ADB should be visible in TWRP recovery if your phone is working then no problem you can simply enable uh, USB debugging okay we will run the script again and this time phone will go in fast boot mode using the script and uh, then script will guide you for further uh, things uh, it will ask you to press enter and it will flash TWRP recovery okay and next step is very important you can read the instructions there okay it is saying after pressing a key unplug your phone and then hold volume up button until boots into TWRP recovery okay this step is very important you must press any key from keyboard and quickly disconnect your phone from computer and hold the volume up key if you don't hold volume up key phone will reboot to normal mode and then then you need to start from the step one as you can see after pressing the after pressing any key usually I use enter key I am holding the volume up button okay you must keep holding until your phone reboots to TWRP recovery mode
okay phone is in twrp recovery mode uh, swipe to allow modifications and then we need to connect phone with computer okay then we will um, follow the next steps of uh, unbrick script okay uh, on computer uh, usually you just need to uh, press uh, any key okay uh, simply press any key and uh, uh, it should start copying the firmware files it can take a few minutes i have just uh, speed up the video to save the time but it in real it may take a little bit longer okay so in two three in two minutes uh, it will be copied and then it will automatically proceed with the next steps if it will only ask you to press any key okay it will show you instructions and then it will ask you to uh, press any key you just need to read this uh, in the read the instructions carefully when running this script okay everything is act automated actually okay now phone is rebooting script has been completed and now we will see the installation uh, should start yes it is verifying update package and it will succeed 100% there is no chance of failure if your phone is correct if your firmware version is correct if your files are correct there is no chance of failure in this process okay in deload uh, process sometimes your phone cannot install the firmware because if 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 it does not match with the version uh, even in some cases even if it matches it can give you error but with this method you will not get error okay the update has been completed and bootloader remained unlocked but your phone will start booting normally thank you for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future